So it's been a while. In fact, it looks like it's been 107 days since I last uploaded a video. It's all part of my evil plot to take over YouTube and the interwebs by uh, making sure my channel doesn't grow. <laughs> On a more serious note, it's just been some health issues. I can't get into it too much right now. Not only because it's personal information that doesn't need to be blabbed about on the internet, but also because it's still unresolved. Suffice to say, I've been to a nephrologist, endocrinologist, and a cardiologist, and that's just since last Tuesday. I really wish I was joking about that. But for some pleasant news at least, my kidneys are doing well and right on track for someone my age. That's what the nephrologist said. And more importantly, the cardiologist says my heart is likewise doing well. And that one's important because for a time there, they were concerned that I might have right side heart failure in addition to all this other stuff going on. And um, well, actually that brings me to the point I want to talk about today. See, I've been told no less than four times since I last uploaded a video, four times that, quote, under normal circumstances, we would admit you into a hospital so we can do more testing. But because it's 2021, you need to go home. Actually, one of the ER doctors told me, and again, I quote, I have a backlog of 12 people right now, and they all have worse vitals than you do. So you'll need to go home. Personally, I was okay with going home. In fact, I didn't want to be in the ER at all. But given that my doctor literally sent me there, I didn't have a choice. Well, actually, I did have a choice. I, I could have refused and then been listed as medically non-compliant and lose my insurance and have to pay for all of this out of pocket. So, um, uh, yeah, as I said, no choice. <laughs> uh, and speaking of no choice, I need to be careful in how I word what's coming next because for some reason, Silicon Valley has decided that they get to dictate public discourse and shift it along approved channels for the science, of course, because that's totally how scientific inquiry thrives under threats of muzzles and banishment. Glasnost works best when you control Pravda. So let's play in the land of make-believe. There are times where two guys hang out after work, and it's very similar to how it would go if it was a couple on a date. You know, you might call it a mandate. And apparently mandates are very important today. In fact, you're not allowed to oppose them. If you oppose a mandate, it's just as bad as you opposing the very reason for that mandate in the first place. You know, too much time after work or, you know, whatever. Or let me phrase it in another way. When I'm on one of those mandates with one of my best friends, I like to eat steak and eggs. But my best friend, you see, he's a vegan. Now, I told him that it was okay for him to be a vegan, that in my opinion, there should be no mandate that requires him to eat steak. But instead, you should eat steak only if you want to. But because I oppose that on mandates, get this now, even though I eat steak regularly, because I oppose a steak mandate, I'm now a vegan. Isn't that cool? See, vegans don't eat steak. I don't support mandates involving steak. Therefore, profit? Okay, so you, you probably get what I'm hinting at with this. But I'm sure robots aren't sophisticated enough yet to figure it out. Give them a few years and Skynet will be here. But I doubt anyone up the chain of command in Alphabet Corp is going to be watching this themselves. So I'm probably okay for now. Because, you see, these mandates involving steak are so prevalent, there are a lot of people no longer allowed to be in certain industries. And one of those happens to be related to, let's say, the Hippocratic Oath. In fact, over 100 people were just let go this month in just one of those places here in my town. I'm sure that has nothing to do with why I was sent home repeatedly instead of having the people actually look at me to see what was going on. Yeah, yeah, n n no connection at all. N no connection that would be easily traced back to the origins of that mandate, you know, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Brandon.